Being an effective leader is not as simple as getting into a leadership role at work. Just because you're good at your prior role does not necessarily make you an effective leader. You need to be treating leadership as a vocation. Here's why. Just lead. Frequently you see people get promoted into leadership positions because they've been proven performers in their prior role. Whilst this is a great indicator that they will go on to perform in their leadership role, it is by no means a given. The problem is that most people are not putting enough time into learning what it takes to become a great leader, let alone putting that education into practice. We should be treating leadership as a vocation, almost like something you apprentice for or you study to become. Think about how long it took you to study your core role to the level that you were able to get a job. I think about myself with university. I did four years in order to be able to be qualified to be employed as an electrical engineer. But then when I was employed as an electrical engineer, I quickly found out that I did not know what I needed to know and that the education was just beginning. That's four years. The same is true of an apprentice. They go through their trade apprenticeship only to get to the end and to find that once the responsibility of getting the job done is on their shoulders, there's a wealth of knowledge that they need to learn. What then, I wonder, makes people think that they can do a leadership role just because? No one comes out of the womb pointing fingers and directing people being that leader. It takes an education and then experience to become competent in the leadership world. Let's call it your technical core business. Whether you're a truck driver or a lawyer, it takes some time to become competent in that role to be able to perform it effectively. You should be spending as much time, if not more, to becoming a great leader. Let's look at the example of fellow YouTuber, Mike Boyd, whose channel I've been watching for many years. His whole channel is dedicated to learning new skills and then working out how long it takes to learn those skills. And the skills are varying from the physical to the cerebral. It becomes immediately clear that dependent on the skill, it takes a varying amount of time to learn. All of the skills that he's learning on his channel are single faceted. What then happens to the time it takes to learn a skill when that skill becomes more complex and multifaceted? There are so many aspects to becoming a quality leader that a leadership short course is simply not gonna get it done. It's gonna take hours, days, weeks, years to master this skill, when in fact it's actually a skill that you never really master, you only strive to master it. And this is why you need to treat leadership as a vocation, not just a job. So you're on board with me about needing to get better at leadership and dedicating yourself to trying to master this skill. So what next? How do you actually achieve that? Learn from your mistakes. You're going to make plenty of them as a new leader. You need to have the wherewithal to stop and think when something goes wrong and reflect on your role that you played in that mistake. Be honest with yourself, be clear and understand that you might need to make a change. Read books or listen to the audiobook versions. There are so many options out there for leadership. Me personally, I like The Art of War by Sun Tzu. As old as it is, it still has some gems in there that are relevant today. I'm here, along with many others on YouTube. It's a resource that you can tap into to get advice and growth plans. I even have a Patreon community that you can join to get further advice and tap in even deeper. Develop a plan with your boss at work. Is there money in the budget for leadership training available to you? Are you able to shadow your boss or some other member of the business to learn from them? Understand the gaps in your abilities. Perform something like a Myers-Briggs indicator type test to understand where your gaps lie and then put in plans to close those gaps. Do some 360 feedback. Get your subordinates, your peers and your boss to provide some feedback on some places they think you can improve. They're gonna be able to provide feedback on the things about yourself that you're unable to see. Complete some further study. I knew I was lacking in finance knowledge, so I went away and got myself a diploma in finance. I wanted to understand my people better and be able to help them better with their mental health. So I went away and got a psychology certificate. There's also an MBA, which many people go and do to get a well-rounded knowledge of what it takes to be a leader in the business world. Then of course, there's leadership short courses. The more of these you go on, 
the more diminishing the returns are from these courses. But as long as you get one thing from those courses, one little piece of knowledge that you can apply to your day to day, it becomes worth it. And remember in these courses, you need to hunt for your growth. Treating leadership as a vocation is just the beginning. There are so many skills you need to cover off in order to become a great leader. Learning how to change your team's behaviors when you need to is an important one. And this is how you do it. 